behind Jana, and I'm going to proceed with what Tara was talking about. But let let me start with that. That it may seem cruel that uh, it may seem cruel that to, uh, uh, that the, the, uh, may, the, the disclosure uh, the HIV disclosure may seem cruel, but at the same time it is more criminal to uh, it is more criminal to facilitate the transmission by ignoring the other uh, by, by ignoring the other uh, by, by the others. So. And I also would like to remind you that this is an international debate. We're not talking about some country or some region. We're talking about the topic itself. Uh, and then let me confirm that we all aim for the interest of the employee as number one and number 102. Because we all, we all see that it is in the right of the employee to take gain of his own rights, which Sarah mentioned before. And just think of it, would it be better if we had a channel made between the employer and the employee? In other words, a mutual trust, where the employer, on one hand, would be aware of what's happening in his company, and at the same time, the employee would, the employee would, ha uh, would be taking the best tasks so that he would not be overloaded, so that he would be able to cope with the other, uh, he would be able to cope with the uh, with the, the, the job, no overload, uh, no stress, nothing like that. And then my audience, I got to ask you a question. Does anyone of us want to be infected with such an incurable virus, such as HIV or HCV virus? Apparently no. The, do the known carriers have any responsibility of either infecting or preventing the infection of others? Obviously, yes. There is a risk of transmission, and those more prone to blood exposure are highly at risk, such as uh, healthcare industries, uh, healthcare industries, uh, policemen, firefighters, cleaners, and these jobs constitute a great deal of the workforce. And I admit that HIV is not spread by normal cuts, but how about? The hepatitis C virus, which can me. spread about, which can be spread uh, for 16 hours to four, it can stay for 16 hours to four days in an air-exposed bloody environment. Finally, I just want to I just want you to imagine your parent, your child, or even uh, your best friend, or even you going healthy to work, but then returning with such an incurable virus, just because, just because. Uh, uh, just because of an, uh, an employee who is somehow afraid to disclose the status. Just because the transmission is not probable, that doesn't mean it's not real. Because after all, a person is a person, no matter how small. Thank you. You know, doctors are most aware people about health, correct? You know, patients are not obliged to tell their physicians about if they have HIV or HIV if they're going for an unrelated condition. So if they're not obliged to tell their doctors, why should they be obliged to tell their employer who knows nothing medical? Okay, uh, the, 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 their, their managers, they're, they're responsible for this company. They should be aware of the, the amount of losses or how would they be? How would they be at risk of something like that? How how would be? How would that be? If we well, are doesn't, doesn't, isn't the doctor uh, exposed to even a greater risk of getting the transmission disease? Uh, but even the, the we're the, our topic is about the employees and the hepat uh, the employees and their employers. The 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 relation between the employers and the employees. This is I think it's a very topic. Thank you.